hello folks welcome welcome to emergency tech ops so today onwards we will be going to upload some of the videos make you zero to hero over ml operations so please follow us over the youtube you'll get more free videos if you are really interested to learn more you can join into our batches course batches also so let's understand these ml operations and artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning a basic difference so that it will be easy to understand okay artificial intelligence machine learning and deep learning data science difference so actually artificial intelligence is we are everyday using so into our daily life with many applications and many other devices so every day wherever you see you are using many applications in your mobile every application is using an ai and machine learning and deep learning and data science as well so here these ml operations right now in the market it is boom so to get into the uh, good high paid job we need to start from basic first let's understand what is artificial intelligence what is machine learning and what is deep learning and what is data science and how they are related and how they together working or uh, how they are correlated okay the first thing is ai is a broad concept of creating machines and software it can perform the task usually just mimic the human intelligence it is work same like the human intelligence but it is we created a artificial thing so that's why we calling it as artificial intelligence so it's same like how we are recognizing the things and objects this artificial intelligence also will recognize the face and understanding the speech and also it playing the games and also it can do a self driving if you see some of the examples tesla cars self driving cars okay or you can also take one example of virtual assistants like alexa and siri or your iphone and other amazon so this also includes into artificial intelligence okay and where we come to the machine learning so machine learning is a subset of an ai it is a technique it is a technique where a machine are given a lots of data so they learn from this from the data and it will make a decision without being explicitly programmed for each specific task and it will try to learn the patterns and and with the data and it will make a predictions an example a general example i can provide you so when bunch of emails are hitting at your inbox then so there will be a spam filters okay so it will be a non spam emails and spam emails can be classified with machine learning things so this is a one of the an example i would say for machine learning it is a subset of artificial intelligence and coming to deep learning so here in this deep learning what happens so deep learning is more advanced subset of machine learning it involves using neural network with many layers okay so it will be going to analyze the data especially like in your recognizing the complex patterns an example if you are using a facial recognition on your iphone see iphone is getting unlocked by using your face so that is a deep learning model that can look into a millions of tiny patterns nothing but at your pixel of your image or your face and it will go into learn to recognize specifically even though you are wearing glasses or you are growing beard or all these things are going to be patterned and it will learn 
so this is because of the neural network in deep learning so are designed to capture very fine details and complex patterns in the images so that is deep learning and if i come to the data science so how the data science will be related so data science is a field focused on analyzing and interpreting the data to find the meaningful insights so it uses a uh, tools techniques from statistics and computer science and uh, machine learning to turn raw data into a valuable information to take a decision making an example so in the general life if you think about the supermarket manager who wants to understand which product are popular at different times of the year so if you take the same way a data scientist also is going to analyze the sales of the data and finding the trends and patterns such as ice creams can be sold in summer and hot coca cola can be sold in winter so like this so the manager makes the better stock decisions uh, to increase the business so these things are going to be in the data science okay so if you see data science is or three subsets of your ai okay and to understand uh, so there will be types okay now as i said artificial intelligence it is a science that enable computers to think like any humans okay even you can also mimicking the same thing over the stocks to buy and sell and about the machine learning as i said machine learning is an uh, subset of the ai and deep learning it is same like your human brain see here we can see we have inputs and we have outputs okay so there will be a number of things same like it works like our human brain so deep learning imitates the human brain so there will be a so chemical process and the neurons are going to be combined and it will give you an output over our, in our brain the same like this deep learning also is going to work so with this deep learning we are going to create uh, some of the algorithms which are going to uh, this mainly used to be create an algorithms which are going to take the decision actually okay and data science as we already uh, discussed for an example a bank can analyze the customer data and identify which customers having high credit score and tailored product services to meet their needs so here data science is that aiming and gain the useful information from the data it will be patterned and collect the data so a best example here you can see in this article actually so at this uh, article at this article so there are some of the images so i'll explain you one thing here if you see we have a roller and we have a robot hand and we have a camera and we have bunch of fruits and also baskets so here the need is it is an ai rule based thing so what happens when a uh, different types of fruits are uh, moving on the lo roller so there will be a sticker or a barcode are attached on these fruits so that what the scanner can scan and it will send to uh, your ai and that will be picked up and it will put it into the, the respective box so this is where you already given a rule that this is an apple this is an orange and this is a banana so like this you are telling from a barcode okay so the scanner uh, this camera will be going to be scanned that and it will uh, give the instruction to where to put so this is a rule based ai but i have a, a problem here so much fruits are coming every day and i can't able to label or i can't able to put all the stickers to all the fruits in a day multiple fruits are coming to a fruit shop then how can i dis different uh, them to different different baskets so there a machine learning will come so what we will do here 
so inside this machine learning so we are going to keep so we are going to give a label and we will be doing the feature extraction and the classifications will train a uh, multiple times to this ml that uh, it is a fruit a banana it is fruit or apple it is fruit and output so that the ml can be decide and it will pick up the fruit and it will put it into the basket and where deep learnings so here you are already labeling the data and uh, you are just giving the uh, data and doing the feature extraction and coming to deep learning so what here it will be doing so it is going to train with certain data sources like multiple times if you are giving an image like it is going to identify size color shape and it will learn itself and then it will classify and it will be used to be put your fruits into the respective baskets so this is how it work okay so there will be a machine learning big picture so there are three types of uh, machine learnings inside your artificial intelligence supervised learning unsupervised learning and reinforced learning so what happens in these types of uh, machine learnings if you see supervised learning classification and regression and unsupervised learning it is clustering okay so in a supervised learning so when you have a so when you have one input so there is an already desired output target class label is there and it automatically detects things okay and when you have a a shoe then uh, automatically it is going to recognize that ankle boot okay when you have a t-shirt it is going to do recognize and it will highlight so this is a supervised learning so where uh, you are using ma uh, many applications that it is going to uh, detect automatically so it is used to train the algorithms using labeled input and output data performance is assessed by the comparing trained model and prediction versus real output okay so now coming to the unsupervised model so we have input of multiple data so we are doing a data clustering so like different different groups you can take one example here if you go to one retail shop where they want to increase their business so in that time so they will be clustering the users or the customers so according to that they will be using their business strategies for an example if you are going to a big c or a reliance so according to the festival mode and the season and they will analyze the patterns of the customers and they'll put some offers and uh, that uh, putting offers are the data clusters only so accordingly they are increasing the business and reinforcement learning so it is something like you can take a baby as an example so here reward and penalty so reward and penalty means this reinforcement learning when a baby you can take an example a baby a baby is learning efficiently right when he is growing so he is going to touch something like a candle then he will get hurted that means he's got learned that so this should not be it is it will be giving a pain okay and uh, then when he is going to have uh, some milk so it will be a taste it then it will, he will be rewarded so like that according to the environment the learning happening to this a baby is reinforcement learning you can take an example of your uh, house cleaning uh, robot or a drone so when automatic drone by using an ai if it is moving and there will be an obstacle so that is a penalty and where it is going to learn that this is the not way and then it will switch to the way where it will be rewarded and accordingly this uh, continuous learning is reinforcement learning okay and what in the, uh, ingredient, <coughs> ingredients we can use for ml model so there are three one is data 
and one is model and one is compute. So the data will comes from different different sources that is an image, video, text, audio, sound and time series signal and that is going to be used by your model. And here if you can see we have a data comes from many universities or per application it is from an AI, API or it is from a website or it is from anything. So you can collect the data and doing a feature engineering and then classifying and then training the model and then you can deploy that. So a model is same thing like your human brain. So that is going to mimic the same like your human brain input and deep hidden layers. It's going to extract, classify and give you an output. So for that, how your body and skull is there to be processed, your brains of different layers, the same way we need and compute. Okay, so this is for today, guys. So we are going to learn more into our upcoming videos. Thank you. If you're liking, please share this video and follow us.